we are working on a new law on water, harmonizing it with the EU directives, transposing the EU acquis. We've got a deadline set for our country for September 2021. And we welcome everybody to join us and give us their comments, their contribution, so we can have a good law in our country. Now, when we're speaking about waters, yes, we are, as the president so well mentioned, we are a country very rich in water. Are we managing it properly? No. Let's start with Skopje. We're losing over 30% in the uh, drinking water in the network alone, which means we need to invest. Do we have wastewater treatment plants? No. Does that mean we're not working on them? That's also no. So what are we doing? Here's a strategy and here's what we're actually planning and this is actually the program, program of the country. We are investing in one of the largest wastewater treatment plants in our region, in Skopje. We have already signed agreements with banks for a loan of up to 136 million euros to build the wastewater treatment plant, rehabilitate and extend the sewage network in Skopje. We are currently in the process, for example, of starting the tender for Kichevo to extend and rehabilitate the sewage system there. We are in the process through the EU funds as well again for Bitola and Tetovo. That will be hopefully opened in April. These are projects all that sum up to approximately 80 million euros, these three. Now, we have had a loan for waters and has been at the Ministry of Transport until now, from 2011. For the first time, the Ministry of Environment is taking over the loan. So we have had a loan approved in the government for 15 million euros. And we are dedicated to having clean drinking water for our citizens. It is a shame that until today, there's been municipalities and regions and villages in our country which have not had clean drinking water and unfortunately still don't. However, though, when I started my mandate, I said one of our key priorities is to supply clean drinking water to our citizens. So already since a year, we are working and collecting all the data, all the information from municipalities. And we need the municipalities to work here with us as well, by the way, because without their, their contribution, without their documentation, we're not gonna be able to start the projects. So it's not only intersectorial, well, it's also different levels of the government and the local self-government.